What's up everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today, we're seeing how the battery worked on the lawnmower. Yeah, we got a brand new battery in the uh, 480EX, 100 amp, uh, riding Ryobi mower here. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had the old uh, problem here. And one of our neighbors came over, Dwayne, retired mechanic, helped us out. We got a new battery, we put it in, and then it's been raining every day. Um, so we really haven't had a chance to cut the grass or anything, have we? No. What we did do is we plugged it in, and we did change over to the mulching blades, and we put the mulching plug on. We haven't had a chance to do it. We've done a lot of the hedge clipping, the edging, and trimming, but we have not gotten around to cutting the grass because it's been too wet. It finally has dried out. Now, this is going to be a pretty good test because the grass is really long. Now, normally it takes us an hour to an hour and a half, but we're going to push it, and after we get done cutting, Jack's basically gonna put his headphones on, listen to some music, and ride around the backyard with the blade on. We're gonna try to exhaust this battery all the way to see if it truly made a difference. Now, this was only lasting about 90 minutes when this first initial battery died after two years. We're gonna see what happens. I'm kind of anxious to see how this goes, man, aren't you? Yeah. Now, we did do the mulching blades. That was really easy with Grandpa's old grinding wheel, wasn't it? Yes. But the grass is still really wet and long, so I'm gonna put it on its normal setting, probably only to go to about half lengths, and we're just gonna go around and see how it goes. We're gonna see what happens here. Go ahead and unplug that, kiddo. And we're gonna turn this on, and we're gonna see what's going on with it. Now, as you can see, it is showing all the way up. Right. Got the blue battery all the way. We're at 57.2 hours. So technically, this should last to about 49.7, two and a half hours. Now you can also see that that beeping is a lot less annoying because we muffled it, right? Yes. That was the other thing we did in that video. Again, we will link that video in the description about where we got the battery, how much it cost us, how we changed it all and everything like that. All right, so just so you can see what's going on here, you can see we edged and trimmed here, but this is really long grass. We just have not had an opportunity to do it at all you can see where this milkweed we got these massive milkweed weed garden in the front here with the pokeweed there uh you could see where all this crazy milkweed even has grown we're just going to be mulching all this up so this is going to be pretty challenging uh really for any mower that's why we're going to do about half lengths we're going to run this out see what we can do let's get this baby rocking look at all these oak tree sprouts right here <laughs> Just mowing them down. Wow. Look at them all. The new sharpened blades are working awesome. They're just smashing all these saplings and everything in this tall grass. No problem at all. And this tree lawn is just so long. It takes literally 20 minutes or so just to do it at top speed. The mulcher blades are working great. Everything's mulching good. Sometimes on this sidewalk in between here, does get some grass thrown, just cause I'm like, you know, halfway over. But when Jack's doing the back, I just, uh, you know, take the little blower, blow it onto the tree lawn. It's a long tree lawn, man. So just wanted to show how good this was rocking. This whole area was full of those saplings right here. You can see my neighbor cut his grass just a week ago. Look how many are here just in a week. And these things are tough to mulch up because they're basically little sticks. They're like little baby trees. And they're pretty hard, especially when you mix them in with the grass. Uh, went around here one pass, mulched it all up, no problem. A lot of people make comments about this fence here. So just want to clarify that. My neighbor's property actually comes almost up to the sidewalk here to our house. Um, and we do try to cut this to be cool, but that is his tree and his fence. The thing is, is he has a lot of rocks that are uh, underneath his fence. Uh, initially, they were put there so that it could just be like sprayed with vinegar or something like that and not have to be trimmed. Unfortunately, because it's on the other side of his fence facing our house, he just forgets about it and doesn't pay any attention. So unfortunately, I can't really go over that because it would ruin my blades because it's a bunch of gravel and rocks. Uh, initially, you know, we've talked about this many times and ultimately uh, we hear have to sometimes try to remind him which we're getting to the point here where we probably will and he he does have a lawn service that comes into his grass 
I don't know why they wouldn't ask him or pay attention to that because they bring their mower right up to here and they see it every time. I would imagine that they would say, hey, maybe we should cut that or ask them about it. But they never do <laughs> until we say something. I think they're, they're just hoping we do it. But again, I'm not going to do it because it's number one, it's not my responsibility. And number two, there's rocks there and I'm not going to spend an hour weed whacking that whole entire fence. It's just not really right in my opinion. So anyway, that's the answer to that. Okay, so, so far, we got 1.2 hours. We start off at 47.2. We are not even past the green, which is the halfway point. So far, things are looking pretty good. We still have this entire area to do here in the back. Jack is going to do all of this, and honestly, he's just going to wear his headphones and just going to keep on riding, aren't you? Yeah. Ride it out. We're going to see what happens here. We're going to see if we can take this up to about two and a half with the mulcher blades on. It's looking pretty good so far. Jack really likes it when the uh, bags are off. It is a little faster without the little extra weight there, especially when he's driving it because he's uh, so much uh, less than me. But uh, yeah, he zips around on this thing, digs it. So he's going to run around on here, see if he can do about an hour and a quarter like I did. Uh, keep the blade going, and we'll see what happens with this battery. We're going to try to take it down here. Oh, well, landscaping's doing really great. Everything's doing cool. I had to show this Clematis over here. Doing really good this year. Look at this guy. Just massive. Didn't spread over onto the bench like it did last year, but uh, really big and wide and purple. Look at that guy. Haven't even watered it one time yet. It's been so wet this year. Beauty. This one up here is not doing as good. But uh, yeah, everything's doing great. Look at this milkweed. Just killing it. Just starting to bloom finally. We put our little chairs up here in the front. A lot of time we'll sit out here and eat dinner in these chairs up here. And they'll just be hundreds of butterflies like in a sunny night. Butterflies and moths flying all around here. That's why we let them kind of grow like this. Really came out awesome. Love that milkweed. Got to show this one elephant fern in the back here. Look at this monster. That thing's doing awesome. Haven't watered that one time yet this year either. Look at all these guys coming in. Doing good, doing good. More hostas on the side. Doing good. Getting flowers. These big ones down here at the end, these things are gigantic. Look at these ones. Huge. These are black eyed Susans, but they haven't even come in yet. They're just starting. Starting to try here. All right, Jack's getting a little bored here. Let's see what's going on here. Jack is doing not too bad. Oh, look at you. So we're looking at over two hours now, and we're still at that halfway point. Look at that. It hasn't even moved since you took it over for me, except for one bar. <laughs> we were at 47.2. We got 49. Point. Well, I think it's pretty clear to see that this is really rocking. We had the blades going the whole time. We got 2.1 hours at this point. We're only at the halfway point. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to last another uh, another half hour. That's really good. Yeah. Probably another hour. Probably. Yeah. Well, you got to go to camp, and it also started raining a little bit. Yeah. So I think, hey, it looks like it's definitely a success. That's phenomenal. I mean, two 2.1 hours in, and we still got half the battery. Phenomenal. That's, that's better than it was when we bought the thing. Yes. So Jack wanted to ride around for a little bit without the blades on because it's a lot faster. Guys, at this point in time, it's looking like this is almost better than it was than when we got it. It could be that that battery was actually defective upon purchase. I'm starting to think that might be the case. Normally, um, we would have less than half a battery showing at the two hour mark, it's actually past the two hour mark, uh, even when it was brand new, mulching thick uh, long grass like this. So quite honestly, we are thinking that that battery might have been defective from the beginning. We're definitely gonna go ahead and send this video to Ryobi just like we have all of our other videos and stuff. Um, ultimately, it, <laughs> we're very happy we made the repair. If you were to ask me whether or not I'm happy that I had to spend 240 bucks two years into this, well, it's actually been about two and a half years now. Of course, I'm going to say no. But considering we've plowed with this thing for three winters now, we're going into our third fall. 
We got a ton of leaves here, huge yard, tons of work to do. Honestly, I'm not really that upset. We've had to do zero maintenance up until now. Now that we know how to do it, it's not that big a deal. Dwayne was a big help, so thanks, Dwayne. Again, if you haven't seen that video, we'll link it in the description. But overall, we're pretty pleased with this thing. Now, that being said, if one of these batteries keeps dying every year, obviously, I'm going to be pretty upset. So hopefully that does not happen and that's not the case. Hopefully this thing was defective from the get-go. And after seeing the results we just did, honestly, I am incredibly happy. So I'm hoping this works. Thanks again, uh, you know, to the battery place. We went to a battery place, local place over here in, uh, you know, in Cleveland. There goes Jack. You can see it goes pretty fast when you don't have the blades on. He likes zipping around on it. But uh, yeah, check out those videos. We'll leave them in the description. We will definitely continue to do updates on this guy. We did make modifications to the plow as well because, you know, it wasn't the best. But still, for 300 bucks, we plowed for three winters with it. Did a good job. We made some modifications. We're going to be using it again. We'll be doing videos on the plow, updates on the mower, and all of our other battery-powered stuff. We're going to be doing an update on the solar system pretty soon. You can see we got about 25 panels on the back, 25 on the front, 50 panels. We hit a pretty big milestone. We're going to be doing some big uh, updates on that as well. It's a wonderful investment. There are tons of people around us. We did this about six, seven years ago now. Tons of people around us that have gone solar, not only houses but businesses. They saw that it worked very well for us, and they made the change as well which was great to see. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go get Jack because i got to take him to camp here. <laughs> if I can find him. Look at this right here, guys. Just pulled it in. Uh, that was 2.2 hours, and we're still at the halfway mark. Unbelievable. I mean, I think it, it probably would have lasted us close to three hours if we would have taken it. Uh, yes, this would probably last a really long time. Well, we'll find out when fall comes because we got all those leaves, so we'll put it to the test again. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps some people out there. Check out the other videos in the playlist too. See you next time, guys. See you next time, guys. <laughs> he loves this thing. <laughs>